Thank you for joining us today. Today's video is all about what we carry in our pantry case. It is the second 1650 Pelican case out of four that we carry in our Jeep. So let's get started. So this pantry case, in conjunction with our fridge freezer, will hold enough food for us to eat well for about 10 days. That's generally our aim. And depending on what we're cooking, we will pack accordingly. Beauty is very customizable to whatever you want to take. So this 1650 Pelican case is equipped with a divider system and a lid organizer. So we'll start with the lid organizer and obviously everybody eats differently. But this is just going to show you what we carry on a general basis when we go away. We change it up from time to time and obviously when you have to stop for provisions elsewhere, you're going to add different things. So let's just have a look what we got going on. Now up here, we just carry some miscellaneous items. We carry some sliced black olives. They're great for salads, stir fries, that sort of thing. Pizza on the grill. Mm-hmm. And we have some paste Montreal steak spice, which we really love on our steaks. We use that one a lot. And they just get tucked up in here because it was kind of just a good spot for them. Moving down, you're going to see that we have quite a few spices. And they generally take up this whole section here. Now these uh, little containers, again, they're the Nalgene containers. We fill them up with different spices as well. They're a great product. As well, you'll notice we have several of these spice towers. This is a large one, and we'll go through some of the smaller ones there. But they are wonderful because you can put a multiple spices in each one. And you can customize. They have different... Uh, holes, I guess, if you want to say. So for example, this one is divided and then it's got sprinkle holes there. Some have pour holes, sprinkle holes, so you can customize them as you see fit. And I'll just show you quickly these little mini spice towers. So these are great because they come with little labels. So you can label each one individually for what you have in them. And there's two in each level. So as you can see, it allows you to take a lot of different spices without taking up uh, very much room. And again, uh, these are a GSI product. Uh, a reminder, we will have the links for uh, plenty of these items uh, in the description below if you're wondering what we carry and you've missed what I've said, or I forgot to say it. And this one was just a, a single one. It's this, our salt and pepper. But talking about salt and pepper, we also love these salt and pepper grinders. One's for salt, one's for pepper, and they are actual grinders. So you fill them up and you're good to go. So once again, we really love these. And all these items here are refillable. And they will generally last us uh, several trips, obviously depending on the length that we're gone, but uh, very handy. So in these little pouches, again, we just have Nalgene and containers. I'm They're a little bit uh, bigger than the oh, spice towers. So I carry Ooh, the things yeah. that we use, obviously, more of in there. We just have some chip bag clips here. In this little pocket, we carry two cutting boards. And having two allows you the option to, sit, uh, to use one for meat and one for vegetables and such. I probably initially tried to keep them separate, but I've long since forgotten. But you can see they're great work surfaces, so you can go ahead and chop meat on them, and they wash and sanitize very nicely. Uh, the other nice thing about them is they don't take up a lot of space. They're very thin. We like to keep them here, but you can also store them along the side here. And the lid does close because there's that bit of space there. 
uh, so it doesn't get, this does not actually get in the way. So they're great on the sides as well. And to finish off our lid organizer, we carry baggies over here. Large baggies and uh, sandwich size baggies. The larger baggies are for our food waste, uh, smelly stuff. It's great to be able to squish the air out of it at the end of the day and it just helps with the smells. So moving down to the bottom portion of our case, again we carry several of these larger Nalgene containers. This one in particular has pancake mix and below it we have rice. And for some of these items I like to put the general direction uh, with a label maker on the front of the container because it helps when Mark is away by himself and I'm not there. So we get two of these in each of these particular slots and on the front here again we have two more of them. I'll just quickly pull them out. This one has some dried orzo pasta. Uh, the smaller pastas are nice to take because one they fit in these containers and two they cook quickly. And this one is quinoa. But again, fill them with what you like, each to their own, but some of the things that we carry. In this sleeve here we have uh, just some uh, Tetra Pak orange juice. We also have a few of these in our fridge and when we use those up we replace them with the ones in this case and I can fit five of these in here. Moving on to this pouch, we have three of these uh, convenience type side dishes. This one is a pasta and sauce as well as that one and then there's a rice one. And these are mostly convenience items but they're great because they only take about 15 minutes to cook and they are really handy to have. I have three in here right now but you could easily put four in here. This spot I carry oil. Two kinds, regular canola oil and an olive oil. I carry them in the Nalgene containers and a Ziploc bag. They don't actually leak, but when you pour the oil out, there's always some that tends to kind of dribble down a little bit, and that tends to uh, just rest on the side of the bottle, making a bit of a mess. That is why it's in the Ziploc bag, not because the containers themselves leak. But it's nice to have uh, two different kinds. Some smoked oysters, because they're great for a snack. We have some brown beans, goes with hamburgers and such. A couple cans of those, handy to have. Just going to tuck those back in there. And again, this last uh, section in this row, more canned items, some soup, little cans of tuna, and the little cans are great for salads or even just a sandwich. They're wonderful. More soup. And oh, I got a tomato sauce. But again, you're going to carry what you like. Maybe you want to carry canned tomatoes or something else. The next row, we've got some breakfast items over here. Again, just a convenience item. These are instant oatmeal packages and they're great for breakfast. Quick and easy. I got a several packages there. And below it, we have a tub for cereal. And it fits snugly in there. Over here, we have more pasta. This particular pasta is larger, therefore, it's in the Ziploc bag. But what makes that handy is. It's great to stuff wherever you happen to have space, right? Like it would fit over here, it would fit over there. So that's why it's like that. And here we have a very important item, coffee. What we carry is coarse ground coffee because that's what we need for our insulated French press, uh, which we go into a fair bit of detail in uh, a video we did on our first Pelican case, our kitchen equipment case. 
This particular can holds enough for 10 pots for us, but we do actually carry extra coarse ground coffee in our sort of uh, overflow Pelican case, which you will see in another video. Because this certainly isn't enough coffee for us, <laughs> in case you're wondering. <laughs> and here's just a nice little spot. We've got some bagels here at this time. But underneath the bagels, more canned goods. We've got canned chicken and more flaked tuna. Again, they're great for salads, sandwiches, convenient, easy, and uh, they don't really take up all that much space. And they, well, they'll last forever. So, and these just fit nicely in there. At the back, we have a couple larger Nalgene containers, and in here we're carrying some trail mix. Great for a snack. And we have some pretzel crisps. Bit of a tongue twister, that one. Pretzel crisps. Now, here we have more bread. We actually do like our bread. This is a Dempster's uh, ready bake bread. We've actually done a video on how we cook this on the trail. Like so it's elevated if up. you haven't watched it, I lid, definitely recommend that it, you do so. And it will warm but as you can cozy. see, it's a two pack and there's two smaller loaves in there. They're filled with air, so they're kind of protected. We fit what we can in this case but we've had them stuffed underneath a seat, in our attic, uh, anywhere they're fit if this is too full for them. So being that they're stuffed with air, it protects them somewhat. It's a two pack. I'm just going to tear it apart. So like I said, these fit anywhere. If they don't fit there, sometimes we have them over here, we have them here. They're great. And they only take about seven or eight minutes on the grill. And there's a video for that. Underneath, this is our bread container. So it holds a standard loaf of bread. And at the top, there's usually room for maybe some English muffins or a couple other smaller miscellaneous bread items. And this is great because it's uh, firm and your bread does not get crushed. And it keeps it relatively fresh, free of dust and any bugs or anything like that. This is uh, wonderful to have. Back here, we carry some dried hash browns. I've got two in there. And we've also done a video using these. And they're handy to have because it only takes boiling water and 15 minutes and they're ready to go. And they really are very much like freshly grated potatoes. They're wonderful. And again, no refrigeration and they'll last a very long time. Now is maybe a good time to mention that uh, right now we actually have this case uh, in our home, uh, right beside my kitchen. So it, it's very convenient to fill. You don't have to traipse through the garage to fill up drawer systems. We bring this into the house and it's right there. It's quick, convenient, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. Because I'm the one that's filling it all the time. So, Anyways, over here we have some fresh produce type items. Carry some apples. What else do I have in here? I have an avocado fresh garlic, a couple shallots. I don't generally carry too much on the onion side. They're not Mark's favorite, but each to their own. An onion would fit in here as well. And then I just have some potatoes. I have actually four regular sized potatoes and a bag of baby potatoes. So as you can see, we can stuff quite a bit in there, and they don't get banged around, they don't move, everything stays quite nice in there. 
and also it's good to mention that these cases, they don't necessarily keep, th keep things cold, but they do help to regulate the temperature. So when it's 100 degrees out, the inside of the case is not 100 degrees. Obviously, it's not going to be fridge temperature, but it is slightly cooler than the outdoor temperature, which helps to keep these items lasting longer. Here we carry just some standard fruit cups. They fit nice in there. And I've got four, I think, in there. We're on our last row here. And what do we have in here? Well, we have a full roll of paper towel. And sometimes we use more than that, depending on how long we are gone. And we do stuff the odd roll in our overflow pelican case that we haven't gone through yet in our attic. We also might stuff one. But again, they're kind of squishable, so you can stuff them wherever. And here we have a box of macaroni and cheese. This one's extra creamy. Mark picked it out himself because that's what he likes. Uh, yeah, it's a convenience item uh, available almost everywhere. They had also makes a great one pot meal and we have done actually a video on a quick and easy one pot meal using ground beef and a box of Kraft dinner. So you want to watch that. It's actually pretty, pretty darn tasty. We have saran wrap or plastic wrap and aluminum foil because we do do a lot of grilling. So it's handy to have there. So just a reminder that all these spaces are customizable. You can change up their, their size, their width, according to what you pack. And this is just a general scope of the main things that we carry. But depending on what we're cooking, it's going to change a little bit. Last little pouch here. We just carry miscellaneous items, really. We have a box of crackers. And this was a bag of multigrain crackers. No label, but that is what they are. And they fit in there fairly well, like so. So in summary, this pantry case, along with our fridge freezer, is an excellent combination. We can eat well for about 10 days if we plan ahead and pack accordingly. As you can see, I repack many items to fit in convenient containers, but that makes all the difference in the world. Another thing to note is we never carry glass, because if something should happen, that would be quite the mess, and it's glass, so we just don't carry glass. If it's something I want, I will put it in a different container. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified, hit the little bell. I thank you for watching today, and I'll see you in the next episode.